Horsinches won't see you X and this is the fat electrician reviews the A10 Warthog. How the fuck haven't I watched this video already? I would, I would video quite quite a few fat electrician videos already and one thing surprised me is somehow the, I miss I just like didn't come up on rec recommended feed or something. That's what I search for it. The A10 is one of the one of the most famous planes in the modern era, let's just say. Uh, apparently because how much people love it, how much uh, soldiers love it basically. Even though there are, I don't know, like technical people who reviews things probably hate it for some reason. The people are actu actually that are on the ground, infantrymen, everybody, they basically love it for the thing that it does, right? Uh, I don't know, but there are multiple people in the comments. I still remember even like when I was watching like, uh, you know, history videos like a year or two ago, uh, you know, uh, World War history videos basically. Uh, I remember people, uh, you know, uh, World War, Cold War type of videos. There's some history videos. There are always people tell me like how eight and Warthog is like one of those planes that when you hear that like brr brr sound, you know you're saved or something. Like, you know, people have like really good memory of this. And that is one of the most iconic sounds, right? 30 millimeter cannon, the way it fires brr brr. That is so good. Obviously, they're trying to replace this. Uh, and not trying to, they are going to replace this. It's already in place. But yeah, this is becoming like outdated or something. And there are many better things that they can do right now, I guess. I, I don't know. One thing I've realized about any equipment or any jets, any equipment basically, is that like it depends. Like where you are, right? How the conditions are. Based on that, certain equipment is going to be, uh, you know, more important. Obviously, if you engineer something really well, it should apply everywhere. But there are such things like even though they, they are going to decommission A10 here, I don't know, there's something could happen in the future where A10 might be needed. Who knows? Right? So it, it depends. That's what it is. It's always uh, like it depends. Uh, as a kid, we, <coughs> as a kid, we always think that who is the undisputed best one? It's either this or this. We always rank things on level type of things. That's not how shit works in real world. It, it depends. So let's watch it. Today we're talking about America's greatest feat of engineering. Quite possibly the coolest fucking thing the Air Force has to offer. A weapon that is so iconic, even my seven month old child knows what it sounds like. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the motherfucking A-10 Warthog. Now if you don't know, the A-10 Warthog was originally designed during the Cold War in an effort to be able to combat Russian tanks. Or as I like to call them, in a hurry tanks. Being able to take out a tank with a fucking plane isn't that big of an accomplishment. But it's the fucking tone that the A-10 does it with that it's makes not? it so goddamn American. It's not an accomplishment to take out a tank using a plane. Ah, I mean, I don't know, man. Obviously, like, let's say there are multiple tanks. You know, planes taking out tanks, like, kind of works, but usually planes, like, don't have, like, 30 millimeter cannons on it, right? If I remember correctly, like, that's the whole reason behind this plane. Now, planes, jet planes do have like cannons in them and also rockets, but if you want to like take out like multiple things and, you know, want to be slow enough to do that without actually, I don't know, this is very specified plane for that, isn't it? Like can be slow enough, it's made as a tank, it can withstand attack that other jets can't, and it can basically, you know, take out the whole line of things. Does it do it with missiles? No. Does it do it with bombs? No, it does it with a gun so fucking big that they don't even call the pilot a pilot. His official name is the stick operator. Because to be a pilot, you have to be flying a plane. And this isn't a plane, it's a fucking gun with wings. Ladies and gentlemen, the A-10 Warthog's gun, or as I like to call it, the freedom stick. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a the fucking Beatles. car. Officially known as the General Electric GAU-8. Yeah. This gun's made by General Electric, like the people that made your fucking fridge. Because that's just how American companies get down. Ladies and gentlemen, I- Okay, what the fuck? Do people buy General Electric fridge in America? Because that would make like General Electric more close to like Samsung, isn't it? If any knows, anybody knows about Samsung, they fucking do anything, everything and anything. They have, like, think of things, they probably do it. That's how insane Samsung is in Korea. Samsung might as well own South Korea at some certain point because that's everything from the fucking military. They own a city. They make big ass freight, uh, you know, uh, ships and shit. They basically transport things like one of the best to do it. They make your memory stick and everything. Every RAM most probably is from Samsung. They make your like every iPhone you have like a Samsung screen. That everything Samsung does it. So General Electric, obviously, I've been watching it. Like General Electric has a, like a real foothold in military with like planes and things. 
like uh, they make you know engines for things for jet and everything they even make certain like, planes if i remember correctly they make obviously like mini guns like this and also make your fridge that is insane i cannot stress to you how fucking big this gun really is that Bloody is real, oh my god it is so big <laughs> oh my god 40 mm right I don't know. Okay, first of all, like any ammo designation, right? Like it said, 30 millimeter. So it's always like this by this. So I guess it's not just enough, like let's just say 40 caliber 40 AE or something, right? Like what is desert eagle ammo? <coughs> 50, uh, 50, 50 AE, right? 50 caliber round. Now there's also 50 BMG. Those are not the same ammo. One is insanely big compared to the other one, right? So every time you hear about like 12 millimeter, 20 millimeter, 30 millimeter, you just like assume based on something, right? Like 50 BMG is close to like 12 millimeter round. So you can imagine 20 millimeter based on that. But this, this is not just some 30 millimeter. It's like a big ass round. Look at the beer bottle. It's nothing. Even that is small. And even that this bullet part of it, like, look at this TV. This is insane. I guess like it's supposed to take out a tank. So yeah. That in the prototype models, when they would fire the gun, it would deprive the engine of oxygen and kill the engine. So then obviously you would scrap it because this is just completely unpractical. Fuck no, this is America. We're going to program that starter to go off at right after we shoot the gun. That way the engine doesn't fucking stall out. Now ask me why the tip is blue. I'll tell you why. Explosive. Because if this wasn't a big enough fuck you, they decided to make the round... Fucking uranium. You see, uranium's oh. denser, therefore weighing more Depleted per square uranium. centimeter, which means it's going to have more force on impact. You know, in case you want to take out the tank that's hiding behind another tank. Now, having a gun this big means you lose mobility. So how do you handle that? Well, that's easy. You just design it to take bullets. Well, how do you do that? You put the stick operator in a 38 millimeter thick titanium bathtub. Hold on, I'll convert it to freedom units. Carry the two world war wins. Add the second amendment. It's about an inch and a half. You thought I was gonna start doing metric shit when I said centimeter earlier, didn't you? Nah. In conclusion, I don't know who designed this freedom spitting masterpiece. I've gotta assume it's a result of giving a grunt an engineering degree and a pile of cocaine, and it's fucking beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed that it. That sums up. If you enjoy my content, you'd maybe like to buy me a beer about it. There's a link to my beer fund in my bio. There's also a link in my bio to my YouTube channel. This video could get taken. I'm guessing this is one of the earliest videos he made, but yeah. <laughs> Imagine like, you know, just, ah, oh, let's make this shit. <laughs> what do you want? 30 millimeter cannon. Like, how, what, what the fuck engine? Yeah, fuck engine. We'll close it off the engine whenever we fire it. Why are they, they're going to kill the guy? But let's just put him in like one and a half inch, you know, plate tub. He'll be fine. Ah. Oh. I didn't know that. Seriously, that's the most surprising thing about the A10 Warthog is that it was built to soak up bullets and damage. I didn't know that. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Like, it comes down, attacks, and flies away. During that time, of course, it's going to get shot left and right. We can take all that. That is insane. Man, I love this. I love this plane. Seriously, this is like one of the most insane plane ever. It's, it's the most insane plane because of the execution of things. Like, how they made it for what purpose. That is so insane. All right, well, if you like my next one, I subscribe. Uh, so I want to wish I would react to more and you'll be helping out this channel because I, I do different type of reactions like obviously nowadays I've been doing a military a lot but I'll do like different type of like some gaming videos here and there uh, you know history this and that so you know YouTube algorithm sometimes goes crazy like okay what is this channel and algorithm becomes you know problematic so you know by hitting like and subscribing yeah, you know you'll be help helping this channel by you know more people can see this video I guess impressions whatever I wish Instagram know if you want to follow me link in the description also and yeah I'll see you next time